Ladies and gentlemen, may I present Tailgate Wars! Wow, you have a good announcer voice. Thank you. Today, the tailgates on pickup trucks are getting more complicated, more useful, and in this video, we're gonna compare Ford, General Motors, and Ram with their latest and greatest. Three different tailgates, three different types of philosophy. How do we judge them? How about we compare them in five different categories? Step in. Yeah. Reach and lift over. How these tailgates work with hitches. Technology, including cameras. And of course, cost. Now this is the F-250 with the tailgate step. That's what it's called. Yes, we know it's the F-250, but it's the same feature as available in the F-150. Representing General Motors is this brand new 2020 GMC Sierra 1500 with a multi-pro tailgate. And in this corner is the brand new 2020 Ram 1500 with what? A multi-function tailgate. Yes, and how come we don't have a Toyota Tundra and a Nissan Titan here? Because they don't offer anything new currently with their tailgates. Yeah, they're pretty standard over there. Right. First test is the step in. All of us have to get into the bed and get something out. So let's see how this works, starting with the Ram multifunction. It, it works like a regular tailgate, dampened. But of course, the other feature is you click the button down and you open it barn door style. Then. Pretty easy step. And Rev actually offers an optional step by the bumper down there. We don't have it on this truck. This tailgate became available in 2020 model year on the Ram 1500 trucks, and you cannot retrofit it to an older 2019 model because it comes with its own bed structure to support these barn doors, and you can do this too. It's actually strong enough to support a lot of weight on this door. And if you have it open this way, you have to close it in order. Otherwise, this happens. So the small partition goes first. Boom. Next, the step-in test on the Multi-Pro tailgate from the GMC. Over here, buttons and no latches or handles. If you push the lower button first and then the upper, both tailgates will open. Then, another latch. Step opens up. Aha. If you need extra assistance, you have a handle over here. Now here's the Ford tailgate, and it's pretty simple. It opens one way. And this tailgate step has been around for several years, so Ford's been doing this for a while. Open up the handle so you have stability. All right, so how would you rate these three tailgates? Well, with three points being the best and one point being the worst in this case, I would give the GMC three points. Okay. The four two really? and the Ram one. Interesting. Yes. Why? Well, just just judging based on step in, the GMC is the easiest because the biggest step, it's already built in. In the Ram, you have to buy an additional step if you want to be sure-footed. Uh-huh. Although it was not too bad using the bumper. Right, but that bumper doesn't have any extra grip, right? No, and the Ford, it's pretty simple, very mechanical. Right, right. Both of the other two, the GMC and the Ram, actually require an electric actuator. The Ford, it doesn't. You could just use the Ford no matter what. Yes. Unless it's frozen over, I guess. I guess. The name of the game is Liftover with these trick tailgates because that is part of the deal, right? Look, there's a whole purpose to this. All of the tailgates are about the same in terms of depth, but the way they open, the trick way they open, that helps, especially when you have to lift something heavy. Here is something heavy. That distance is around eight inches. That's pretty good. But what about the GMC? Well, it's got a trick too. Because that cuts the distance. 
That distance there is around uh, 15 inches. Right there. But what about the Ford? Here's where Ford's simplicity, unfortunately, drops. Here's why. There's no way to move this or open it or do anything special with it. And because of that, you have the full length of the tailgate to overcome in order to load. Yeah. All right, dude, let's do the numbers. All right, well, here it goes. For loading, I think the Ram, that gets the most points. I think that the GMC gets second, and obviously Ford gets third. Three, two, one. Yep. Here at TFL Truck, we do a lot of real world towing tests. So we must do a hitch comparison between these three tailgates. Ram is up first. No matter how you open the tailgate, in the traditional way like this, you can still have your trailer hooked up right here. Or this way, you still have access to the trailer, still have access to your bed. A TFL truck, we use Gen Y heavy duty height adjustable steel hitches. Okay. All right, let's see how the tailgate works with this hitch. Standard opening on the tailgate, no problem. But here's where the issue comes in, right? As soon as you start to open the second part, it hits the hitch. I have my finger in there, so it doesn't. And you might be saying, wait a minute, you can buy a different type of hitch, the one that folds underneath the truck. Well, yes, that's true, but what if your trailer is hooked to it? That's one issue here. GMC says there are up to six different functions this tailgate can do. Here's some of them. You can prevent your cargo from sliding out. You could use it as a table or a workbench. Here's another position to prevent additional cargo from sliding out here. By the way, the kicker stereo system that's built into this GMC tailgate is an option, addition. The standard multi-pro tailgate does not come with that. We use manly hitches. For the heavy duty truck, it's two and a half inch shank. Also a Gen Y hitch. For heavier loads, on the Ford, since the tailgate opens traditional way, it clears the hitch. You can still have a trailer attached, but if the trailer is attached, you cannot use a step, but you can use a step with a hitch in place. All right, how do they rank for the tow hitch test? Yes, so the Ram was the best in this one, three points. Okay. Followed by the Ford at two, and finally one for the GMC, just because of the second partition on the tailgate. Well, let's compare the tailgate cameras and technology with these three trucks, Ford, GM, GMC, and Ram. Now we're just talking about the tailgates, right? The cameras, tailgates, not the whole camera system around the damn truck. Yeah, this truck has like 15 camera views. <laughs> We're not talking about that. Yeah. But we, what we are talking about is when you put it in the reverse, obviously the rear view comes in. And all three of these trucks, Ford, GM, and Ram, if properly equipped, have a way for the driver to remotely open the tailgate. That's us. That's that button right here on this one, right? Yep. So if I'm in park, uh -huh. boom, I can hit it. Oh, I felt it. And then when you put it in reverse, the camera is pointing at the ground. I think all three trucks that we're comparing today are on the level playing field, about the same. Okay, so do all three get three points? That's what I would like to say. Okay. So what are the final scores after four categories? Well, there is a clear winner and there is a clear loser so far. Okay. And that is the Ford, last place, GMC, second place, Ram, first place. So Ford, eight points, GMC, nine points, and Ram, 10 points. Correct. 
But we're not done yet. Final cost. How much do they cost? That is where things get interesting because the Ram with its multi-function tailgate, that is a $995 option. Okay. The GMC Multi-Pro tailgate, which is really hard to get, by the way, without being part of a major option package, but if you get the elevation package as an example, you can get it for $445. Okay. And finally, the Ford tailgate step, $375. So wait a minute, so we just proved that the cheapest option, the Ford, wasn't as functional as the most expensive option on the Ram. Big surprise. Makes sense. Yeah. All right. So here are your tailgate wars. You have to decide for yourself what's your favorite, but the clear winner today was the Ram. Except for price. And guys, go back to tfltruck.com for my news views and real world tailgate and hitch reviews.